My mum, dad and I were in the room when they said it is malignant, it's an osteosarcoma. I think we were all very similar in that moment in how we reacted. Just, okay, it's the worst case scenario. Um, and then, but what was really strange was we had that initial shock and asked questions, but then they, you know, said, okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna go and come back or another doctor's gonna come see you, something like that. So we're in that um, curtained off kind of waiting room. And we, I guess we'd had a couple of weeks to think if, you know, to let our brains come to terms with the fact that it could be cancer because we started making terrible jokes and I don't know, maybe it was a bit hysterical. Um, I was saying how I was gonna have the pixie haircut that I never was brave enough to do. Um, I was joking how I was going to get very skinny. I was like, oh, I'm going to lose all this weight that I put on in London and I'm not even going to have to try. That's going to be great. We were just, we were laughing. And later down the track, I thought, oh gosh, there might have been somebody in the next waiting room getting such terrible news and hearing us laughing about my cancer diagnosis. I thought, how insensitive. But that's what's, you know, I think the three of us defaulted to humour, just... We're going to cope with making jokes about this.